Hey everybody, Jairus PC here with the pickups video, I guess is what you call it. Uh, card show pickups. Uh, I had a card show this weekend, which if you follow my channel, you saw the the video that I posted. Um, and basically, this is just pickups, uh, purchases, and trades. Uh, it's going to be mostly all trades. Uh, I won't show you everything that you may not be interested in, uh, but I will show you some things that you may be interested in. Uh, for starters, <laughs> I traded some stuff, um, and I one guy does apparel, so I got this uh, this nice Jordan uh, tank top. Got that right there for Lena because she's uh, she just loves Nike and just whatever's kind of in style and humblest kid in the world who likes all that stuff. So, anyways, and I got her a, a jazz beanie here. Uh, that for Christmas. So, Lane, if you're watching this, just forget I got these for you for Christmas. Um, and let it be a surprise this month. I actually got her, I got a couple of them, one for her, one for me. But anyways, that's the, that's some clothes. I also got a couple other articles of clothing for her, but it's not really sports related, so I won't show you. Uh, let's see. Okay, so I'll tell you, I'll tell you what I paid for this stuff, if I can remember. Uh, and then I'll tell you if I traded for it, if I can remember. Um... But you don't care about stuff like this. I uh, had doubles of a car. I traded for another ID car. Uh, shoulders of that. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I got peer pressured into buying these off of uh, another dealer, uh, so that I could, so I could open them here on the channel for you guys. So that's just another uh, uh, kind of like a Walgreens uh, deal. It's MJ Holding. I'm pretty sure these are complete garbage. Uh, but we're gonna open them on the channel. Uh, not today. I'm gonna do them in a separate video. Well, it may be today, but it'll be a separate video. Um, those are some power cubes I picked up today, uh, so those don't count. All right, next up, I traded my one buddy Brad uh, for some stuff. I got a, a lunchbox of the um, yeah celebrations. <laughs> Pretty cool. Whoops, get up there. All right, yeah, these are here. They say that it's a uh, one rookie star card per box. I think that they're supposed to be slab. They said I don't know, and it says two factory shield packs, and I'm pretty sure that they are uh, like your sage or your leaf. These are here made by MJ Holding, as you can see down here, MJ Holding Company. So I never have a lot of faith in this stuff, but what are you gonna do? Alrighty. So okay, next up, uh, along with the the Pokemon box here, I traded uh, Brad for also this. It's a entire box here. Basically, of backpacks. <laughs> so you can see it's a pretty big box. So there, I think that there's, oh gosh, I can't remember. This whole entire box filled. So there's a bunch. Then <laughs> um, we got those absolutes. Probably open up those in the video. Uh, what else did we get here? All right, I did a trade. A lot of the stuff I traded for was graded Pokemon cards. I brought out some graded Pokemon cards for everybody. Um, uh, in, in included uh, in some of those trades were all these Dragon Ball Z packs. Now these are the Panini ones. They're not the uh, the Bandai ones, uh, which are worth a little bit more. Uh, but these are still fun, cool, neat artwork. Uh, he had three bucks a pack on them. So I was like, I want to open those in a YouTube video. So I got those so we can open them uh, at an, uh, in a separate video. Alrighty, let's see what else we got here. Um... See, I picked this right here up in trade because I don't think I have a mega box of this year's Topps Chrome. So we got that. And another guy come up and just give me a bunch of cards. Uh, he gave me, he opened a box of Pro Debut chasing the Wanda Franco autograph. And he didn't get it. And he's like, hey, I'm not really into baseball. So he just gave them all to me. <laughs> Sleeved them all up, top loaded them all. So that was pretty cool of him. And here, I'll just show you. I'll just show you a couple of the low number parallels that came in it. Uh, there's Mike Trout. That's pretty cool. That's a, just kind of a throwback. Uh, 20 played for the Rancho Cucamonga Quakes. Uh, and then this is uh, Osiris Johnson. That one right there. I don't know if it's a bronze or what it is, but it's number 25. Might be an orange. Probably an orange. So I haven't even gone through these yet to see what else is in here, but uh, I just looked at the couple parallels and stuff. But uh, it's my buddy Austin. I've showed you guys him in my videos before. Um, I've done deals with him in the past. Yeah, he just gave me the autographs too. He's like, eh, I'm not really into him. He goes, I think that there's one decent name. Uh, I got Hans Kraus here. And then this right here, uh, that's a Royce Lewis Green uh, out of 99. And then he gave me an Evan White. That's pretty cool right there. Evan White's a good ball player uh, in the Seattle organization. That one's numbered out of 50. Uh, this Grant Little Green, and that one's out of 99. Number 99 to 99. 
And uh, Oscar Mercado, Columbus Clippers, Fragments of the Farm. That's a AAA jersey. Uh, interesting jersey material there. Um, I'm sure this is a game use uh, jersey, but I'll try to get you guys a look at the, the material. Is it material? It's kind of interesting material. Not your typical jersey material. And then this is a pretty dirty. Uh, oh, stadium banner from Fox City Stadium. Oh, and this is the banner too. That's why. Triple <laughs> A championship banner from Huntington Park. All right, this one's numbered out of 10. Not sure what the difference is. They look exactly the same, so I don't see any parallel colors or anything. But that's Tristan Lutz. Uh, he's a pretty good prospect too. So, okay. So that was a pretty nice, just free gift from uh, from somebody. So. Yeah, when you're nice to people, people just give you stuff. And uh, some of you guys have given me uh, your whole collections or uh, cards for, that I PC. And, man, I really appreciate all that, guys. You guys are awesome. I don't ever mind giving back to the community either. Uh, I did a little series here for a while that's kind of fizzled out where if somebody just sent me a stamp and told me what their favorite players were, um, I would send them something in return. Uh, all you had to do was give me a stamp, and I would just put it put it back in the stamp envelope. That way, I'm not paying for uh, you know a bunch of stamps. Uh, but yeah, so if anybody wants to do that again, just send send uh, to my address, uh, which is in the in the comments. Or sorry, it's in the description. Just send me anything you want with a, a stamp in there, and just tell me what you like, and I'll send you. I'll try to send you something for your PC. I also got these are here in trade. Uh, these came with the Dragon Ball Z. Uh, just some some more uh, blasters for the PC, uh, for the blaster wall, which is it's getting bigger and bigger as you guys can see. Uh, not the greatest uh, lighting in here. And as I was watching some videos and stuff, I realized that I am missing some boxes there, so there are some more I need to add. But anyways, so these two tops chromes, um, I do not have. Uh, oh wait, I do have this one. Come to think of it, I'm looking up there right now, and I do have this one, but I don't have this, uh, which is good because this is actually the better one. I had a kind of a high price on it, like 90 bucks. I got this one already, though. Oh no, I don't have this one. Sorry. All right. So, and then in that same in that same uh, trade, I also got this right here, which is pretty awesome. It's the uh, the premium stock, hollow premium stock, uh, Don Rust complete set. Uh, Target had these for a hundred dollars. They're selling for quite a bit more, and that Mac Jones is selling for um, a lot more. So every one of these cards is going to be a like a Chrome Hollow Premium Stock card. So I think this is something that, if this rookie class ends up being a great rookie class, this is something that has potential to go up ex exponentially in value. So I, I don't know if I'll keep it sealed or not. I know right now breaking it. Breaking it open, uh, you can make a lot of money. You can make a lot of profit on it, but I don't. I don't know that I'll do that. I just. I don't know yet. So, anyways, um, it would be a fun one to do a break. Uh, you know, on the channel. Uh, what else did I get? I got you know, some Pokemon comments here. I got those over there just in trade. Just a bunch of comments. I usually uh, repack those up and sell them like ten for a buck. Okay, now let's get to some more fun stuff. Some cards and stuff. I mean, I guess it's all been cards so far, but. Let's do some cards, like tr uh, singles and stuff, and fun stuff, which is all fun stuff, but you know. All right, also in the clothing trade, I got two of these right here, one to keep sealed, and that's a t-shirt right there, <laughs> WrestleMania 3, uh, extra large, uh, and then I got another one here too, it's the same one, and then there's a picture of the t-shirt, so I got one to wear and one to keep sealed up and put it with all my other wrestling stuff on display in my office. So that's pretty darn cool. I dig that a lot. Those are made by Funko. Uh, another thing I got, I found one of these out in the wild and the box was destroyed, so I just traded for another one because I'm, I'm trying to get one in mint condition to display in my office. But here it is. It's just the Pikachu Celebrations collection here with the packs and the Pikachu. Um, this one, the box is in a lot better shape. Uh, my other one, it's like torn here. It's like torn down here. It's probably torn over here, I think. But this one's not bad. It's got a couple little indentions up here, just little baby ones. Nothing, nothing too bad though. Yeah, nothing, nothing bad. But uh, a lot better than my other one. So that means my other one is available to be opened or something. So yeah, so we got that right there. Let's get this out of the way because it's humongous. Alrighty. All right, next, let's do some cards. Let's put my tripod back here. You know, this isn't a, this isn't the most professional 
situation here when you guys got me doing videos I just had a small setup and I I just I just kind of do what I got to do you know what I mean it's a little bit of a rough rough go here all right who remembers this who's old enough to remember these when these came out uh, this is a purchase I made 20 top NBA basketball rookies premier prospects and look at the names on there guys remember this 1996 and I don't see the big boy I don't see Kobe Kobe's name on there but anyways uh, the box is empty why because I took them all out and I put them in it, it wasn't a sealed box I put them in graded card sleeves actually so that they would be in better condition so these right here are larger than your standard card uh, the guy who bought this was actually thinking that these were regular size. So he was pretty disappointed when he found out that they were oversized. But little does he know that they probably didn't make a lot of these. And um, they're still very valuable. Here's a here's a standard card. Kind of pulled it aside. So you can see the difference in size. Uh, I think that they're awesome. I remember when they came out. I don't think I've seen them in 20 years at least. But let's take a look here, guys. They were all in good shape, and I'll tell you what I paid for them afterwards. There's Antoine Walker. John Wallace from Syracuse. Shout out to my my uh, my friend Mike Dow. Uh, Marcus Camby. He was good for a minute. Sharif Abdurrahim. Roy Rogers. Derek Fisher. The Marbster. Stefan Marbury. Uh, Jermaine O'Neal. Hey, there's AI. And Kobe should be coming up. Steve Nash. Young Steve Nash. Ray Allen. And there's the Cobster. So it's an exact replica of the original card. Uh, these came out in 96, so this is considered still a rookie card. Uh, very, very neat. I love them. I love them. All right, Walter McCarty, Vitali, uh, Patapenko. Uh, in case you guys forgot who that was, uh, Samaki Walker, <laughs> Eric Dam uh, Dampler Dampier, sorry, uh, Lorenzo Wright, Todd Fuller, and Tony Delk. Uh, so yeah, so these are these are pretty awesome. And are you ready for what I paid for these guys? I paid 25 bucks for the set. $25. I could not pass it up. 25 bucks. I have no idea what they're selling for, but to me, they're worth 25 bucks. So I had to get them. I had to get them for 25 bucks. You, you, I don't think that you can go wrong with 25 bucks. I'm pretty sure there's money to be made there. Alrighty, next up, what is all this stuff? Oh yeah, okay, I bought this lot. No, did I buy? No, I traded for this lot right here. I was gonna buy it, and then uh, the guy decided he wanted to trade, so we traded. He ended up getting again graded Pokemon cards. Uh, these guys are all trying to get some new stuff, uh, new variety for their for their, for their tables, their display cases, and so on. Uh, so I got all these cards, about a hundred cards here, and uh, I think I might have paid for. Let's see. I paid for one of these ones, and there's going to be another one, the next one that I paid for. It's a PC card. So let's just take a quick peek here. All right. I'm going to see a lot of doubles here, but I got a lot of Jaws. I got a lot of the factory set uh, photo variations of uh, guys from last year, like Gavin Lux. I picked up this Aloy Jimenez. Uh, it's a rookie. I think that he is one of the, <laughs> one of the best players in baseball. Uh, it's a rookie auto, so I grabbed this one right here. Numbered out of 50. I'm not sure if you can see that really very well. But yeah, I had to grab the Aloy. I paid, no, this one was factored in for 20 bucks. So 20 bucks, I was going to buy that one. Let's see, another jaw. And I got some LeBrons. There's uh, the, uh, I think that's a Donruss. Is that a Chronicles or Clearly Authentic? That's a Clearly Donruss. Sorry, that's Clearly, yeah. Uh, Tyrese Halliburton Blue. And that one's the premier level. Uh, got a nice Kobe. I think it's during his playing days. Yeah. Playing days Kobe. Uh, Zion Rookie. Uh, some nice colored LeBrons here. Uh, I like I like these. I keep adding them to the old PC. Ja, my house. Curry, I love Curry, so I've been buying him. Uh, Anthony Edwards, uh, rookie. Another nice Ja foil. Uh, this is actually probably a pretty rare card. This one came out of the Panini stickers. Um, so it's not only a Ja, but I think the foils were um, a parallel, I think. So this might be a pretty rare card. So there's those. Let's keep going here. Uh, ja. Rookie again. Nice Shohei Refractor. Uh, I like refractors and prisms, so I always grab that stuff. Uh, let's see. Cabrian Hayes. That's the purple. Out of 250 Jason Dominguez. Uh, first Bowman. And these are a lot of prices on them. That's 8 bucks. I mean, a lot of these were just cheap, I thought. 
Uh, Kyle Kuzma, he's a, he was a Ute. He played out here in Utah, so I just grabbed some of his rookies. Uh, another Shohei Prism. Uh, Dylan Carlson. Uh, let's see, Christian Pache, Refractor rookie, hoping that he'll come around and, and do something well. But I figured I'd just grab him because you know, I had a $3 sticker on him. Uh, LeBron, Court Kings, uh, Bam Abadio, or Adebayo, uh, rookie parallel out of 299 Another Bam, uh, rookie parallel out of 299 Trey Mancini, rookie. Uh, another LeBron uh, parallel, that's the numbers parallel out of 2021 Select. I got this right here because all these girl uh, full art Pokemon seem to sell well, so... Uh, I just grab them when I can. I think that they're probably an okay investment, especially if uh, you can get them for a, re a reasonable price. I think they had this one at $7 or $8, so I said give it to me. Uh, these right here are the uh, Gold Star Parallels out of the factory sets. Bo Rookie and Kyle Lewis. Uh, see some more rookie uh, image variations. Gavin Lux, hoping that he has a breakout year soon. Uh, the Gold Star Acuna again. Let's see... Jordan Gold Star rookie as the bow uh, uh, rookie variation. I'm sorry, photo variation. Uh, Aloy and bow Gypsy Queens. Another Cabrian Hayes. Mike Trout. Got to get the Trouts when I can. Not only have three bucks on it. Get it. All right, let's go over here. We got some more Trouts. There's a Prismic Power to just add to the Trout PC. Trout out of a hundred. Got to get it. Five bucks for a Trout out of a hundred. Got to get it. Another Kuzma. That's the press proof out of two ninety nine. Another BAM out of 199 this time. Another couple photo variations there. Uh, factory set photo variations. BAM uh, Optic. Tyrese Maxey just grabbed it to add to the, to, you know, just for some variety. Trying to get uh, some of all the d decent rookies and stuff. Uh, Big Cat uh, Rookie. Another Zion Rookie. That's the uh, draft picks. Another Ja Zion Zion. And those are, they didn't have prices on them. Another Ja Ja Ja. Few more jaws there. Uh, DeAndre, gotta grab him. He played pretty well in the finals last year. Uh, Cam, I like Cam too. I think he's he's a pretty good ball player. Another uh, Zion. A few more bow photo variations. Pretty nice looking cards for rookies there. And those are the, like I said, the photo variation uh, rookies. Uh, Jonathan India, I gotta grab him. Rookie of the year, had a great season. I think that one might be a fractal. Yeah, that's a fractal. That's a fractal parallel. Uh, C.D. Lamb, I think he's a good ball player, so I grabbed that one right there. That one's uh, Chronicles. Uh, another Lou Bob, hoping that he continues to do good things. He played a pretty good year this year, but, uh, you know, his cards aren't reflecting it, uh, but that's okay. Uh, Zach Moss got that for the local guy PC because he was a Ute. Uh, Bo Bichette, Chrome rookie, had to get it. Uh, Lou Bob, a Series 2 rookie. Uh, Rami El Tapia, I grabbed him because I like uh, the Rockies too. Uh, I'm a Jets fan, or not Jets, yeah, I am a Jets fan, but I'm a Mets fan, but uh, I go to a lot of Rockies games, and uh, I just thought I'd add it to the PC um, for Rockies guys, uh, and I think you only had like three bucks on it, yeah, three dollars, so I just grabbed it, uh, Joey Bart, first Bowman Chrome, another Kuzma, that's like the shock parallel or something, I don't know, Cabrian Hayes, refractor rookie, he'll be alright when he comes around, nice Cam Akers, uh, red cracked ice type prism rookie, um, 10 bucks on that one, so I just grab it and then wait for him to come back this year. He's out for a season. Um, I think he's a great ball player, and I think he's going to be do just fine. Lou Bob, um, Optic Prism rookie. Uh, that, that one a color? I think it's just a regular prism. I don't know if it was like a blue prism because the blue, but I got a Blaze Jordan camo first Bowman, and that one only had 10 bucks on it, so I was like, well, if Blaze Jordan's a real deal, we'll just grab it. Got a bunch of Lamello uh, stuff here because I, I I really like Lamello. I think he's gonna be all right. I'm in you quickly. Uh, contenders draft auto. Uh, just I don't know. Pretty good ball player and uh, cheap and it was gonna be in a trade so I didn't mind grabbing it. I like throwing things in for trades. Like I'll take stuff when it's a trade uh, all day long that I won't pay for. Uh, let's see here, Anthony Edwards. Uh, nice. Uh, uh, I forget what this one's called. I can't keep track of all these freaking prisms. Uh, but anyways, I <laughs> uh, got the La uh, Lamello Blue Select. That one only had 15 bucks on it, too. I've been buying these things cheap lately, like 12, 13 bucks a piece. Another Zion, I think that's a rookie. Uh, another Cam, Silver Prism. That's the way to go if you're going to get rookies and prism, I feel like. Bobby Witt, a couple of those right there. Those are not the first, but they're like the second years. Um, I think, tw yeah. No, these are 2020, so this is his, his first year. They're not Bowman first, but they're, I believe those are, but those are his first year. Uh, Zion Prism My House. That one's pretty cool. Add to the PC. That's 20 bucks on it. 
a couple more Lubob uh, photo variations, a couple more Gavin Lux. So that's that box. And then there's still some more uh, I got too. Here's some more singles here. Let's see what I got here. Okay. Here's a card I bought. I paid 10 bucks for this thing right here. I don't have it. It's going in the PC. It's the 2012 SI for Kids Mike Trout. Pretty darn cool card right there. It's only graded a five, but I don't really care. There's there's no creases or nothing. I I think it's I have no idea because the surface of the card is clean as a whistle. I, maybe it's the centering, possibly. Uh, you can tell this was like a I don't know where this thing ended up on the sheet. I mean, obviously it was on the the right side. It's probably right side middle, obviously, because there's perforation here, here, and here. So right side middle. Centering's pretty off, but it's a PC card, so I didn't really care. They had 15 on it. I asked him if he'd take 10. Took 10. So, pretty cool. Uh, second year, technically, Mike Trout card. I dig it. All right, next up, let's see what we got in here. All right, got this right here from my buddy, uh, Sean. Add it to the, uh, to, to the variety. Anthony Edwards, uh, blue rookie. Uh, let's see, then we got, I also picked these up, just a few Pokemon cards from him, just stuff I thought I could sell, I got these all in trade, nice EV VMAX, I know you guys may not be into Pokemon, but maybe some of you are, uh, so I got, yeah, got these in trade, traded a, these 10 by 20 pictures I got, and I think one Pokemon graded card, uh, I got a Mike Trout, a Shohei Gold, oh, these are here also in the, uh, this pile over here, uh, Bobby Witt Jr., there's a Bowman first, and, uh, Mac Jones, actually I had five bucks on that thing. I feel like that's cheap for a moment first of Bobby Witt. Uh, Mac Jones, rookie. What do you have on that thing? Ten bucks? Five bucks. I had to grab it because he's playing his butt off right now. Uh, Pete, just grabbed it because it's, you know, going to be a part of a trade. And then uh, I got this right here. I paid $3 for it. The Derek Jeter upper deck rookie. I checked it out. It's clean as a whistle. A little tiny itty bit of white right there. Just a little tiny bit, but I mean, it's not bad. This thing would easily grade an 8. Uh, the rest of the card's clean as a whistle. I paid $3 for it. Golly, how can you go wrong? Put that one in the, in the PC. Add it to the million other Jeter rookies that I have, which I'm very thankful for. Alrighty, let's see here. And I think that this... Oh, you're here again. I think that that's about it, guys. Is that about it? I think that that's about it. I think... I think... I'm pretty sure, and I think, yeah, I think that, that that was my pickups. All right, well, you guys have a great rest of the day. Don't forget to smash that like button. Help me out if you want to keep seeing more and more videos. If you like my channel, if you like my, my videos, then just show a little bit of love and support. Hit that like button, subscribe if you don't mind, and leave some comments. I love comments, love comments, and I love answering them. If you guys have any questions about the hobby, I am an expert in sports cards and memorabilia. I'm happy to help. You guys have a great rest of the day, and we will talk to you soon. Later. All right, guys. Sorry, I forgot that I still have a... <laughs> I found a whole other box of stuff that I got this weekend. Thought I forgot to show you guys, and I'm going to show you right now. All righty. So, a continuation. Um, so, I got this right here back from a buddy. It was just a couple dollar, <laughs> $20 card-ish. $25 card. Anyways, I technically picked it up, so I'm just showing it to you guys. All right, I played this game uh, with this one uh, dealer. His name's Tony. Uh, nice guy. Um, he had a dice game, which I usually have a dice game too. Uh, you roll the dice, you win whatever number it lands on, right? So he had one except for it was $10 a roll or six for, five, six for 50. So I played his game, and this is what I won. So $10 a roll, actually technically $8 a roll, um, I think, right? Yeah, eight times. Uh, yeah, do the math, JR. It's $50 for six roll. I think it's eight bucks. Anyways, first roll, I got a jumbo pack of series one. Okay. Second roll, I got 89 upper deck pack. And I think the another roll, I mean, this wasn't like the third roll. I rolled the dice and I won another 89 upper deck pack. And then, let's see here. What else did I get? Another, okay. Let's <laughs> see, that one there for last. All right, then another roll. Yeah, I got the choice of these five, well, one of these five or six cards. Uh, the first time I got, I, I, I got it, and I, I grabbed the Kurt Warner rookie because I love Kurt Warner. And plus, with his movie coming out, I thought that'll drive the prices up for a while, so I figured, eh, just grab the Kurt Warner rookie and, and then sell it because um, I already got a bunch of them. But, uh, so basically, I'm into it for the eight bucks. And then the second one, I had the option of a Trout second year Bowman. I know, I know, but I just love this card, so I took the 
the Big Mac. Okay, now, here's where it gets tricky, and I called them out on this. I said, look, I said, man, I said, that, I see what you're doing here. And he's like, what do you mean? And I'm like, I get it, you know, you, 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 you pull a... My last roll, I got, it was pick a card out of his his five dollar box which which i looked at and it turns out it was a great box i mean i quickly picked the card that i found and i was like i'll take this one right here and then i was like but you know what it was a triple shoe i was like i gotta go through the rest of these cards and just see what else is in here because you never know you know a triple shoe so it's probably seven eight hundred cards in there i don't know anyways they were all on top loaders so i go through it and i said oh you just freaking baited me i go there's ulterior motive here I was like, you knew if I had to pick one card out of here, I was going to find a whole bunch of good cards in here to buy and pay cash for. And that's what ended up happening. I was very cash poor, and he didn't want to do any trading, so I could only buy... Um, I, I basically bought all the cards I wanted. I guess if, if it was a trade, I could have done a handful more cards. But these were in his $5 box, okay? So for my last roll, I took this card right here. It's the old uh, APF All-Stars... Um, Kobe Bryant rookie card. These are 1996, so it's a it's technically a rookie card, uh, more more or less an unlicensed card made by Scoreboard. Okay, these are here are great. They're cool, fun cards. Okay, uh, so I grabbed this one here. So he had this in the five dollar box. That's like a ten or twenty dollar card. Okay, and then as I'm going through, I just I couldn't help it. I had to buy a, another stack of cards. So this is what I ended up buying, five bucks a card. <clears throat> I ended up getting tw uh, 13 cards, no, 12 cards extra, and he gave them to me for 55. So so basically got one for free, but the Derek Jeter um, Upper Deck Miners card, I had to grab that for five bucks. It was super clean. Uh, another Derek Jeter rookie card, another Upper Deck rookie, so I had to grab that for, for five bucks or less. Uh, the 96 SPX, this is a great card. I always love this card, and it was super clean. Grab that one for five bucks. I'm pretty sure that's a $25 or $30 card. Um, got this really clean, except for it's off-centered um, Clemens rookie. Uh, for five bucks, come on, you got to, right? 77 Nolan Ryan. The only issue I saw with this one here was a uh, just a little touch of a corner down here. But for five bucks, you gotta grab the old Nolan. Centered nicely. It's really not in bad shape. I mean, I think this thing right here would probably grade a seven. Um, it's really not bad. It may grade a six. I don't know, but I, I I think it could go either way. But it's super clean card. Great eye appeal. Got a Xander Bogarts uh, first Bowman. Anthony Rendon first Bowman. Gotta get those for five bucks. Uh, Don Mattingly tops rookie, a little off center top to bottom, but I, for five bucks, you got to get it. It's one of the most iconic cards of the 80s. Nolan Arenado, first Bowman, five bucks, got to get it. Three of the different, um, three of the different, uh, ex uh, some of them are like Walmart, but they're all different. Like this one's got like a yellow, this one's a red, this one's more of like a refractor style. But the 2012 Bryce Harper rookies, I had to get five bucks a piece, I got to get them. Harper just came off an MVP season, and uh, they're rookies for five bucks. So had to get them, had to get them, had to get them. There you go. And then I got this a uh, couple more cards here. Uh, let's see. Oh no, these are here. Okay, these are here. We're a separate deal. Okay. So I got these here for five, a hair less than five bucks a piece. And then uh, the trade I did with the guy with the um, with that Donruss uh, premium set. I end up getting these right here also. I, I grabbed a, uh, a really nice uh, Curry uh, parallel card. Love Curry. Uh, <laughs> don't know if I love the corn rolls. He doesn't look like a corn roll guy. But anyways, another nice Curry here. I uh, got this Royce O'Neal to add to my jazz collection. I've been trying to get as many jazz autographs as I can. Especially different. I want to accumulate a humongous uh, collection of different jazz autographs players. You know what I mean? So uh, anyways... Uh, and then I got these two right here. It just has kind of like a throw-in. They're just a couple Utes guys. I got those to add to the, uh, the Utes collection, autograph collection. I'm just, same thing I'm doing with Mets, Jets, Utes, BYU, and uh, also Utah State. Um, and then the the Jazz, I'm just trying to do a big old collection of different player autographs. I'm also doing that with Walking Dead. So if anybody has any Walking Dead autographs, I'm trying to get at least one of every cast member's certified autograph that's been on the show that, you know, the autographs are put in a pack of, like, Rittenhouse or Tops or whatever. And then I got this just from a kid. I traded him a Dollar Tree pack for the Anthony Beck to go with my Jets binder. You know, because I'm doing all the Jets uh, memorabilia and autographs, too. All right, so I think we're officially done here, guys.
Thank you for being patient. I hopefully you enjoyed it. Let me know uh, in the comments below what your favorite thing that I traded for is. Uh, I would really like to know what your favorite thing is. So you guys have a great rest of the day. Sorry I have to say this again. You have to hear it twice in this video. But I appreciate you all. Later. All right, guys, so I swear these are the last cards. I got the Steph Curry also. I keep finding more cards I got. This is the Prism Mosaic. Uh, pretty cool. Got this here in a trade with that same guy I got that premium set from. Got another Cam Akers autograph rookie with the um, a memorabilia piece out of $2.99, so it's an RPA. And then I got this right here too. <laughs> the Alonzo Silver uh prism select so all right i think that that's officially it and if it's not i guess i'll just um you'll see in about two seconds <laughs> all right you guys have a good rest of the day okay later